Hey everybody, my name is Drew Hare and I'm on the pro staff for Malibu Kayaks and this is my ride. So I'm going to point out a number of the features here in my Malibu Stealth 12. Uh, the first ones we see here is the gator hatch. The gator hatch can serve a number of purposes. Um, the biggest thing is, if you've got a kid or someone else you want to take out with you, go ahead and sit them on it. Have them face back towards you and it works great. Uh, I've had my dog right up there. That works great. Um, it's a good little hatch. And a great feature to have. Um, Coming back, you see my depth finder, it's the Hummingbird 500 series. Now I'm a river fisherman uh, most of the time, but in lakes and bigger bodies of water, having a depth finder is huge. I just run all my cords right down in the hatch where I have the battery and the, and the transducer installed uh, down in the hall, and it works like a charm. Next, you can see this is Malibu's three tank center well system, um, and also a standing platform. So when I'm standing fishing, I usually have my feet here and here, and it works like a charm. Sometimes I'll stand in the middle. Um, this is so you can keep live bait in there, uh, and you can take this off and reach right in. Of course, right now I just have a spare camera and stringer in there, things I just happen to have in there coming back from my last fishing trip. Um, you can also note that I use Nerf balls, as you can see here, to plug up some of my holes. Um, it's a really easy fix if you need the scuppers on this thing plugged up or some of the other uh, spots you have you have plugs for. Um, it's a lot cheaper, a lot easier, and it works great. You know, half the, ride when I, half the time when I'm riding, I have four or five rods just kind of spread out on deck. Uh, here I just have two of my favorite rods from... Carolina Custom Rods, and in particular, this is probably one of my favorite rods. Um, I call it the Finesse Special. It's great at throwing trick worms and weightless worms. Um, and basically anything Finesse, when the bite gets tough, I pick it up, I get bit, and it works like a charm. My paddle, uh, it's the Black Diamond from Krakadon Paddle Sports. It's a carbon fiber paddle, extends between 220 and 230 inches. Uh, I can put it all types of different degrees. Uh, it's got an, a round and oval uh, handle on it and it's uh, super lightweight. It's taken a beating. Uh, I went through the entire bass lane with me last year. Just an awesome, awesome paddle. My seat is from Krakadon Paddle Sports as well. It's the Apex One seat. Um, you know, kind of your standard strap in kayak seat these days but you know when it gets the job done uh, in the back you know I don't carry a crate like a lot of guys do I just have my my stuff under the bungees uh, my measuring board I got a bag of plastics I got my bait boxes and you know usually after that I'm pretty much ready to roll um, in the back again another rod and a net which is something I haven't really carried all that long probably just the past year or so um, but after losing a few big fish to the boat I've been super happy that I invested in that. And uh, in the very back, I just have a little light from Kyalu. It's called the Kyle Light. Um, you know, I love the Yak Attack light. It's great for big bodies of water. But again, when I do a lot of river fishing, um, you know, I won't have any rods here in the back or the net in the back. I'll lay it down. So a lot of times I'm going under low-hanging trees and vines and things like that. And anything tall just has a tendency to get hung up. And so this little light's nice and low. And the cool thing is it's on a bungee cord. So if you can see here, if it gets knocked down, it'll snap right back up. It'll stay in place. And uh, it's kind of a cool little system. You just have to bungee it onto a cleat. And uh, works like a charm. So if you guys are river fishermen or tight quarter fishermen, might be worth a look. 
and of course it's Coast Guard approved. Um, <clears throat> you know, these Malibus also have two rod holders here in the front on this side, um, or in each side right around there. And they're great for trolling or live bait fishing, whatever you do. I don't do a lot of that stuff, so they may not get as much use for me. But um, it's a great feature if you're looking for an all-around boat. I'll also show you these side pockets. They have waterproof lining that can come in and out. Now I just probably have junk in here right now. Um, but you can pull these pockets in and out. I keep an emergency kit, that first aid kit on the other side. Um, thankfully they don't have to use those too very often. I also added this, just this little paddle cleat. Um, a lot of times I'm standing and fishing. I just throw my paddle in there so the wind's not blowing it around and just makes it easier to manage, especially when I have like six rods on deck. Um, I'm trying to keep track of all those too. And of course, like most kayaks, got a cup holder molded in. It usually holds many more baits and pliers and scissors than it does uh, actual cups. And I know I kind of tossed it to the side when we first sat down, but PFD, it's a plus. I wear mine literally everywhere. Um, whoops, in the pocket. I keep a knife, a whistle, and a good luck charm. Um, so you open that up, that's what you're gonna find in there. And then the one last thing I almost forgot was my GoPro. Um, the cool thing is I just have it mounted on a C-clamp and then I duct tape over it just to be sure. And I want a painter's pole that extends out to like eight feet. Um, and the cool thing is, what I can do is I can take this pole and put it up front under my bungees. And if I adjust it, I'll have it look straight back at me. I can put it in those front rod holders. Um, typically, you know, I just have it right in the back, but it's a super easy fix. And it's, you know, a painter's pole is way cheaper than some of the other options. Extendableness is pretty, you know, it's a nice feature. Um, can go underwater, no problem. I know GoPros are pretty standard these days. Um, but again, awesome little cameras. The underwater features are fantastic. Um, they shoot great HD video, especially in high light conditions. Um, you know, definitely worth a look. Alright, well I think that pretty much wraps it up. That is my Malibu Kayak Stealth 12, an awesome all-around boat. I'll guarantee it'll handle anything you can throw at it and keep on ticking. Check it out on MalibuKayaks.com or the Team Malibu page.